okay guys so for the replication uh, setup what the initial requirement is that obviously uh, your server should be uh, able to access each other so for uh, for my configuration what i have done is that i have uh, disabled all the firewall and the ip table uh, settings so uh, my uh, servers can access each other without any issues so that's why i have done uh, i have cleared them but in production you might need to enable your firewall settings and all that so you have to do that as well so as we are this is the test environment so uh, actually we don't need that so let's uh, keep rocking the configuration okay and one more thing we need here is that uh, i need the netcat uh, utility uh, to transfer my backup to the other server uh, which is like very easy to do that so that is why i am using uh, netcat so yes uh, uh, thing yes i have already netcat installed and in case uh, you don't have it should be on the both sides uh, if you don't have you can just install it by using the yum install uh, netcat that's it that's very easy how you can do it okay so let's clear uh, okay so what are the steps uh, first we need to enable the uh, binary logging on the master okay and then we need to assign the server id to each of the server and then restart the server and as we already know that the server id should be greater than zero so let's do these two step okay so let's log into uh, mysql okay and then check uh, what is my uh, binary log uh, what do you say what is the um, if this binary log is enabled or not but uh, as we know we are using the uh, mysql 8 version so binary log is uh, enabled by default and that's a good thing so we do not need to restart our server but in case you are using the mysql 5.7 and uh, others you need to check if it is enabled by default or not so let's check uh, select at 8 uh, log uh, underscore bin so okay so it's enabled here as well and uh, obviously it's enabled by default uh, so it will be enabled on the other server uh, but for the other server it's not required in our topology because we are just using uh, we will be using this uh, masters mysql 2 for only uh, the read and so even if it is enabled uh, it's okay okay and then uh, what we uh, need to do is that uh, okay one more thing we need to check uh, what is the uh, binary log expiry so we need to check that as well uh, i think i should check the show variables uh, all the variables and let's see that what else we want to know show variables like okay and we will say that the variable we are looking for is that expire something like that yes variables like okay show variables okay my bad okay so what we have is that we have enabled the binary log uh, in seconds so that's it uh, these uh, when this kind of uh, when the number of seconds uh, this number of seconds passes then the your the binary log will expire so that's how it's going to like it will delete that binary log file uh, if it's on the server till this time so that's good uh, so we will not run out of the space so the version will be done automatically and we have another uh, variable as well which is called expired log days logs days so we can do it on you can set this one to zero and enable this one okay then you will have like one two so it will last seven days so you can set it to seven or after seven days seven days uh, old binary log fault will be deleted okay so that's what uh, we need to know and we have one more server uh, one more variable like how what should be the size of your binary log and that variable is max uh, bin log size okay so let's say let's see bin log okay bin log oh my bad okay why i'm forgetting all this oh, oh bin log sorry okay uh, so we have here is that bin log size so this is much is the bin log size it's in bytes so you can change it to kilobytes and then me uh, megabytes okay uh, I'm not going to check other uh, variables because we are not uh, we don't want to get into the 
like the complicated things for now because we are leaving them for the rest of the tutorial so we will uh, do it in the later one okay so what we have done here is that we have check our binary log if it is enabled and our server id uh, no we haven't checked our server id so let's check that uh, okay select at uh, server underscore id so it's one yeah that's good for us and let's check the other server uh, for the server id yeah okay so it's one uh, so both cannot be the same so we need to change this one so let's go to our because we need a restart so, uh, so let's uh, do it on the other server so that's why we need to restart so let's do it in the my cnf okay my cnf and we have one here and uh, if this variable is not available inside your configuration file then you can uh, change it uh, you can like write it uh, server id underscore okay server underscore id so let's read a start or server where is it yeah restart my sql d and my sql okay and one more thing if you guys are wondering that i'm only tapping the my sql and i'm able to connect so that is the reason that i have stored my password in my in this location okay uh, oh sorry it's a file it's not a directory so that's why the client and you can guys can save it here and you don't need to restart because if you save it inside your configuration file then you have to restart so create a file like this vi something like this and this i have and paste it here so that was my root user and password okay uh so that's it uh for the two variables we have and the next we need to do is we will create we'll be creating a user so that will be used for our uh replication so let's do that as well so the user we need to create is for the replication is uh let's create that user and okay so this is the user um just create oh, okay well, i'm creating with the mysql native password so i will be using uh the old uh what do you see uh, the authentication plugin uh if i want to show you what is my authentication plugin so let's uh, uh let me show you that uh, select it it uh it is a default authentication plugin so uh, okay okay so it's uh, underscore sometimes uh, for from the configuration file it works with the uh, this dashes but it's in need to be like underscored when you are selecting from the mysql so i'm using mysql native plugin so that's why i'm good i'm creating the user uh, like uh, with mysql native password so that's why okay so let's give it a grants uh, it requires only uh, grant replication slave uh, okay this one and it's required uh, the grant replication uh, uh, client so these are the two uh, replication create oh, these are the two things we ne need and if you are using um, the mysql 5.7 then you need to execute uh, flush privileges otherwise it's not going to work so for that we need to execute the flush privileges uh, yes otherwise in mysql you don't need to require that okay so this is done on the master server okay and the next thing we need to do is that we need to take uh, the backup but uh, as you can see here uh, show uh, schemas yeah schemas or you can say show databases show databases okay i don't have any like uh, heavy data so what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to download some data and system clear from the internet and i'm going to load this data into my mysql instant so i'm getting the sample data from this uh, website okay so it will be a, a master.zip file and it's not that big file but it's uh, will be done in a few seconds so let me pause the video okay so we have the data uh let's check this okay so let's unzip the data unzip master dot zip what's the come on this is it unzip okay so unzip is not here so let's install yum install unzip okay yes 
okay so unzip okay guys Haha, uh -huh. unzip okay uh, master yes so ls cd uh, let's go to this test db master okay and here uh, we have a file which we need to load into our uh, like uh, file so this is the employees.sql file uh, this one and we are going to use it inside your okay so mysql and employees.sql so it is going to load all the data so once this is done we will continue okay so we have our data uh, it has been loaded in mostly 39 seconds and let's log into mysql and let's say show databases show databases okay so we have our employees database here and now let's take the uh, backup of our uh, all the databases servers and let's take them to the other server so here it is uh, we can do it in this way or uh, we can do it in another way as well so let me show you that okay forget that uh, okay so let's take the backup here and so once the backup is completed uh, we are going to shift it to uh, the other server so for that uh, what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to open uh, a listener uh, on the uh, netcat listener on the port uh, let's say on the this server and we have don't have anything here so let's open a listener okay to the port triple uh, like uh, tetra 9 and now we will send uh, this uh, to that uh, server so what is the ip of our server host name uh, minus i so it's 10 okay and we are going to send it to this one i think yeah this is 20 so let's copy this part area okay and let me show it to you okay so let's send this on that port okay so if you see here the file is here now and let's get uh, the binary log posi position now because now everything we are going to work is on our slave server so let's check the head minus 70 okay or any lines we want to read because uh, we want this line so this is the line okay we want to have uh, because uh, this is our binary log file position and this is our master log file position okay so we will tell in our configuration file that use this file and use this position so we know that till this position we have taken our backup so let's uh, let me uh, okay and before that uh, we need to like obviously we need to restore the backup so how to do that it's mysql uh let's break it and dump dot sql so this is how we are going this is how we restore our backup and okay so till that it takes time so let me create my uh command okay let me create the command and i will show you that what i'm doing here okay so let me paste it here for now okay what i'm doing here is that i will be telling it that the change master okay to master host this is my master ip and then this is the slave user which we created earlier on the master side and this is our password okay and this is going to be master log file and uh, this is the file okay which i took it from here and this is my master log position uh, here so this is which i took it so let's do it uh, let's uh, log into our mysql server okay and paste this command okay not this one sorry <laughs> uh this one yes so and yes i'll sh show some warning but uh, leave that and let's start our slave and let's see uh, what is going to do okay show slave status oh, sorry uh, slash g okay so yes uh, our slave io has been started okay and 
okay sleep has read all the real logs and let's so show databases okay and on the other side let's see uh, what is happening here uh, show databases here as well and let's do some testers so databases okay so let's uh, do some test okay i want to create a table uh, any table uh, which can help us so okay 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 so uh, before creating table let me create a new test database create database test okay and let's see if this is replicated to the other server or not okay so this means our replication is working fine and we can use this uh, server as well test okay and we can create any test data test table if you want so let's create any table here uh, let's create this one so show tables yes we have and let's uh, uh, use test and show tables okay one more thing here is that uh, obviously we need our slave to be uh, read only because we do not want uh, to uh, like harm our uh, replication so for that because we don't want any uh, deletion or any dms on our slave because if uh, in future our master fails and we want to promote our slave to the master then it's going to be uh, it's not good so it will not be consistent so what we need to do is that show variables okay like uh, read uh, underscore only so this is off and we need to set it uh, to read only and set uh, global okay uh, set global variable no set global read only is equal to one okay and let's me let's see okay so it is on now and we have one more user we have more, one more variable which is called super okay so we need to set that as well and let's see uh, what is i see if it is set or not okay so that is on now so we need to set these two variable on the slave side so any user don't need don't read and write sorry don't write don't do any dms on our slave side because we do not want our slave to be inconsistent so that is how you set up your uh, master and slave replication.